Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between William Stanitz and Joseph Henry Blackburn. This awesome chess game was played in London in 1869. Steinitz had white pieces and he started with e4. Blackburn played c5, the Sicilian defense. Maybe. Knight to c3, knight to c6 and now g3. Is it going to be the closed Sicilian? We'll see. g6, bishop to g2, bishop to g7, knight on g to e2, e6, d3. This formation is known as the King's Indian formation, something that later in history Bobby Fischer would also enjoy to play. Well, this position was seen in this game for the first time ever. We have a history in the making. Knight on g to e7, bishop to e3, this is still the most played move. Knight to d4, again the most played move in the database even in the 21st century. These two guys were so much ahead of their time. Why to move? Castling kingside and queen to d2 are the two most played moves. Steinitz played queen to d2. Black to move. Castling. d6. Queen to a5. Knight from e to c6. And rook to b8 are the most played moves. Blackburn was known for his aggressive play and he played a5. He was first ever to play this move. Why to move? h4. Intending h5. Queen to a5. h5. Of course, Blackburn now lost interest in the castling king side. Knight from e to c6. h takes on g6. h takes on g6. Rook takes rook check. Bishop takes on h8. Why to move? Bishop takes on d4 was played. c takes on d4. If knight takes on d4, then knight takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight to e2, queen takes on d2, check, king takes on d2, king to f7, rook to h1. This position slightly favors white. White also has a better pawn structure. Back to our game. c takes on d4. This looks very unpleasant because it's sending the knight back. Knight to b1. Black to move, knight to b4. If queen takes on d2, knight takes on d2, and Blackburn didn't find this position exciting, so he decided to keep the queens on the board. Knight to b4, knight to a3, stick the back. How about a3 kicking the knight back? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? The knight takes on c2, check. And after king to d1, queen takes queen check, knight takes queen, knight takes rook, and black wins. Back to our game. So we have knight to a3, king to f7, pawn takes pawn on f5, g takes on f5. White to move. Should white castle queen side or not? Steinitz played king to f1. If castling queen side, the knight takes on a2 check. After king to b1, queen takes queen, rook takes queen, knight to b4, and white has no compensation for a lost pawn. Back to our game. King to f1. Moving the king to a safer spot. d6. White to move. How would you continue if you had white pieces? Stanitz played queen to h6. And this is a very annoying move for black. Bishop to g7, queen to h7. There is a big difference in the safety of the two kings. Black to move. Blackburn would love to play bishop to d7 and to develop his bishop. But then if bishop to d7, knight to f4. This is very unpleasant for the black king. So instead of bishop to d7, Blackburn played e5, controlling f4 square. Knight to c4, attacking the queen. Queen to c7, a3 kicking the knight back, also provoking black to take on c2. Knight to c6, if knight takes on c2, 
then bishop to d5 check first, and after king to f6, rook to c1, and white is almost winning. Back to our game. After a3, knight to c6, bishop to d5 check, king to f6, rook to e1, black is behind in the development. Bishop to d7 was played intending to activate the rook, but to white played a move when black resigned and the move is. How would you force your opponent to resign in this position if you had white pieces? Steinitz played g4, and Blackburn resigned. One line goes like this. f takes on g4, knight to g3, and the black king is extremely unsafe on f6. If the king tries to escape, white can immediately take the bishop on g7, but this is an interesting line. Knight to f5, check, deflecting the bishop from protecting e8 square. Let's see how this works. Bishop takes on f5, queen takes on g7, check, king to d8, queen to f8, check, there is no bishop to e8 now, king to d7, queen takes on f5, check, king to e7, queen to h7, check, king to d8, queen to h8, check, extraying the rook on a8, and I guess we can stop here. What a brilliant king's Indian attack by William Stanitz. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.